My name is Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and welcome back to another episode of Homeschool. For today's project, I'm going to show you how to clean your chimney. Nothing rings in the holiday season like sitting around a roaring fireplace, and if you haven't already, now is the perfect time to clean your chimney before Santa Claus comes sliding down and tramples soot all around your home. Regularly cleaning your chimney is an important part of keeping your home safe for the winter months, and that's because as you use your fireplace to burn wood for warmth or just for seasonal atmosphere, a highly flammable tar-like substance called creosote begins to build up on the inside of your chimney walls. Over time, this buildup can ignite and burn at over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, which can be extremely difficult to extinguish and quickly spread to other areas of your home. In fact, on average, there are over 25,000 of these chimney fires every year that lead to over $125 million in property damage. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you're likely to drop while tackling the project. This one isn't too difficult, but it takes a little bit of time, can get a little messy, requires you to get on your roof, and requires some basic tools to knock it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find all the necessary tools you may need for this job. Fortunately, cleaning your chimney isn't a super challenging task, and it's something that most homeowners can tackle on their own if they choose to. So today I'm gonna show you how you can do it and why you should add this to your to-do checklist to make sure that your home is ready for the winter. Before we get started on showing you how to clean the chimney, I'm first gonna show you how a fireplace works because I find that if you know how things in your home work, it's easier for you to fix them when they break or when they need maintenance. Now, if you don't care about how it works and you just wanna skip ahead, no worries, just use the time code links in the description down below to jump ahead. Otherwise, here we go. So the major components of a traditional fireplace are the firebox, a damper, the smoke shelf and smoke chamber, the chimney flue or liner, and the crown. Now as a fire burns, the heat and smoke rise through the damper to the smoke chamber and up the flue. Turbulent air mixing from the inside of the room and the air in the chimney mix on the smoke shelf and should create an updraft to send the smoke back up the chimney instead of into the living space. Now the damper can be used to close off the chimney when not in use, so cold air doesn't fall through the chimney and create drafts in the living space. Now there's many reasons why a traditionally constructed chimney like this are no longer considered the most efficient ways to heat your home, but for the sake of this video, we'll just assume that you have a traditional style like this that needs to be cleaned. So here we go. Cleaning your chimney should only be done when you have not had a fire in the fireplace for quite a while. The first thing you'll need to do is purchase a simple chimney sweeping brush online or at a hardware store. Now there's a ton of different options available in various sizes, so you may wanna go on your roof and measure the diameter of your chimney flue or the liner to make sure that you buy one that fits. I bought this one that attaches to the end of a drill on Amazon for about $60. Next, you'll want to use some plastic and tape to tape off the fireplace area or make sure that your wood stove is closed and sealed. This process creates a lot of soot flying around and you don't want all that flying around into your home. I also like to add a shop vac hose into the sealed firebox area to help collect any flying dust. From there, you'll need to get up on your roof. So make sure that you can do that safely with a ladder. It becomes a little more challenging for steeper pitched roofs. So make sure that you take the necessary safety precautions so that you can access the roof and the chimney safely. Depending how high up your chimney sticks out of your roof, you may need an additional step ladder or a stool to get to the top so that you can access the very top of the chimney. Once you're up on the roof, remove the chimney cap. Typically they're installed with just a few screws to hold them in place. If you don't have a chimney cap in place, you should definitely purchase one. Not only do they prevent birds and other animals from nesting or climbing down the flue and getting stuck, but they also keep other debris out like leaves and branches or things that can cause a clog that could potentially be problematic down the line. To my knowledge, they're also required during a home inspection, so if you ever plan to sell your home, you'll need to have one installed. They're not very expensive online and most cover different size ranges, so just measure your chimney liner to buy one in the size range that fits. Next, you'll wanna use a flashlight to shine down the chimney and see what you're dealing with. Now, if you have a GoPro or an action camera of some sort, this is a perfect use for that as you can attach it to a long pole and send that down the chimney to see any visible obstructions and inspect the condition of the chimney to make sure there's no visible obstructions or damage. In my case, it looks pretty good, but as you can see, there's some buildup along the walls that need to be cleaned. From there, assemble your cleaning brush. In my case, it's a matter of attaching the fiberglass rods together and putting the brush attachment on the end. And if you have someone down in the house below, ask them to turn on the shop back for you. Otherwise you have to climb down and turn on the shop back. 
Make sure you have a good respirator, safety glasses, and gloves on hand so that you protect yourself from any flying debris and potentially carcinogenic dust. If you have a brush that attaches to a drill like this one, once you've fed the rods down the chimney and you've reached the length of your chimney liner, attach the other end to the drill and make sure that the chuck is connected tightly. You don't want to drop the rods down the chimney because then you have to try and fish it out, which can be challenging. I like to start at the bottom of the chimney and work my way up, but it doesn't really matter how you do it. Just work your way through the entire liner and make sure that you clean it thoroughly. Once you think you have it nice and clean, use your flashlight or camera to make sure it all looks good and try your best to clean any additional spots that you notice that maybe didn't get clean so well. Once the chimney's all clean, replace your chimney cap and you're good to go on the roof. From there, allow the dust to settle for at least 30 minutes so that anything that's flying around can settle into the firebox. And then next, locate your chimney clean out if you have one. It's usually a door on the backside of your fireplace or your chimney, and you can use a small shovel or scoop to remove all the larger debris that may have fallen. If you don't have a clean out, which is true in my case, just do your best to clean any remaining dust out of the chimney with your shop vac. They sell specialty vacuums for this. However, if you've already removed the majority of the ash from your fireplace, I don't really find them necessary as long as you have a good filter in your shop vac. Do your best to clean any remaining dust out of the chimney and firebox with your shop vac. And lastly, reinstall any fireplace screen or doors if you have them, and you're good to go to enjoy many warm fires in your fireplace or wood stove for the winter season. It doesn't hurt to burn one of these creosote busting logs in your fireplace every once in a while. They're designed to help keep creosote from building up, but they should never be used as a replacement for a good chimney cleaning. If you have a gas line that runs to a gas starter on your fireplace and don't wanna deal with the hassle of a wood fire every year or doing the deep cleaning that I just showed you how to do, you can also replace your wood burning fireplace with either a gas insert or a gas fire log set. These log sets are a little expensive, but they use either natural gas or propane to create a clean burning fire without the hassle of creating a lot of ash and soot. But as always, you wanna make sure that you have quality smoke and carbon monoxide detectors inside your home and that they're working properly. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you get your fireplace ready for the long winter ahead. As I mentioned before, traditional wood burning fireplaces like this are no longer considered the most efficient way to heat your home. So perhaps down the road, I'll show you guys how you can update your fireplace to make it a little bit more efficient. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you'd like to check out any more of my DIY workshop or home improvement tutorials, you can always visit my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you and your family have a very warm, safe, and happy holiday season, and I'll see you next time.